What's up, everybody, and welcome to another, another I almost said Let's Play again. We're just going to keep it. Uh, Nerds the Roundtable, episode 30. <laughs> just that. Just that I just yeah. Yeah. nailed it. Uh, this is a weekly talk show where my best, me and my best friends discuss ongoing affairs in nerd culture. Sometimes it sounds like shit. Don't know why that's happening. Tom and I are going to have to look deep into each other's eyes for this whole podcast in order for this not to sound like crap. Uh, uh, that's just the way it is. Yeah. We're, we've realized that for about... Two hundred more dollars, we could really get a good setup, <laughs> but we're not going to do that right now. I don't mm. have the money. It's like yeah. when Fred and I used to have to cuddle during the podcast because we would share one. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. with me close. on my left is Tom Hawkins. On my right is Jack Rooney. What's uh, up? The people that are here every week, mostly. Tom leaves. This will be your last podcast, probably. No, second like no, last podcast. Mumble, yeah. yeah. Mumble. Things are changing again. There's nothing I could do. America sucks. Doesn't let people in. Yep. This is. You gotta change. go. You gotta go home after like a certain amount of time. Mm-hmm. It's because you want to take our jobs. Apparently, you want to take I just our, want one our job. podcasting jobs. <laughs> it's just one job. Just one. I'll yeah. settle for one. <laughs> We're doing this earlier in the week, and this will probably be a shorter episode. Here are the reasons: a, we really only have one topic. Now, I say that we could talk about it for an hour. Who the fuck knows? But I also we also leave for San Francisco in uh, twelve hours, twenty four hours. No, twenty four. Oh hours. yeah, it's time to twenty four. The flight is in. I might actually hours. call out. Because I have not gotten the things that I need to get done done for San Francisco, so I might not go to work tomorrow. All right. Okay. I was like, call out what San Francisco? Yeah. No, no. <laughs> I would have been not. I was like so confused. Actually, yeah. we probably should talk about PSX a little. Yeah, I'm, like, we can talk about. PSX. So we're going to PSX. Mm-hmm. Could we talk about it? Here. We're going tomorrow. Yeah, well, not to PSX, but to Tom and I are Francisco. going to, and Fred are mm-hmm. going to San Francisco. We leave tomorrow. Jack leaves Friday. Yep. Uh, and then we come back Monday. We yep. do. It should be a lot of fun. I love San Francisco more than pretty much anything on the planet. My favorite place to be. I have, I'm, about 40 of my friends are meeting me there, which is even cooler. It's a weird thing to think about. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people there. Yep. I started to get, I started to get the emails today of like what happens when I, like when there's normally an event that I'm like going to be shepherding a lot of people around. Mm-hmm. And uh, I got about 64 emails this morning. Yeah, of like different people like hey man hey man I heard you're gonna be that stuff hey man hey and I'm like oh god it's begun yep. and then people are like where are we going to, for dinner on Friday I'm like I don't know you wanna make a reservation for 84 <laughs> I, I have no fucking gonna, clue like, there's, the, there's a hardcore 100 or yeah. so going yeah like there's a genuine but 10 of them are my hotel room so yeah that's very true that'd be a lot of fun we gotta get Fred, I have to hopefully my PayPal clears so I can pay Zyger for my hotel room we don't pay him yet no, I haven't. I needed I the mean, shirt. shirt with the teaspoon money. money. <laughs> well, Fred well, needed Fred the teaspoon money, which paid for paid our for lights. lights. Thank, Thank you, everybody, who bought a shirt. shirt. We've, already We've already started, started coming started. in. Make sure you guys tweet us. And if you're going to PSX, there's absolutely no way you would hear this in time for any of this information I'm no, about to say to be wrong. Uh, nope, it's going to go up Friday. Yeah, Anybody, up everybody's left. already packed. I hope you guys packed your nerd shirts. I'm not really mad at you if you didn't. I have, I have a cool shirt on today. I don't, so I've left my hoodie on. I've actually just got generic red t-shirt. This is one of my favorite shirts. Like this it. is HP Lovecraft as a paranormal investigator, and it's like his business card, and it says, I believe you. It's very nice. It's very that cool. That is very cool. As if I, I do see a nerd shirt, I'm going to, with permission, hug you, so mm. be prepared for that. That's sexual assault. That's <laughs> with permission. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be Zygo, we find. I think they'll wear it. Zygo and Trevor wear it. Don't, don't feel like you have to. No, Zygo. you don't have to say yes. That's always with permission. Don't feel like you have to. No, I've been told I give really good hugs. Who told you? Uh, I well, the one con- person I ever hug. <laughs> I can't confirm or deny. You, I, I've definitely hugged you at least once. No, I avoided it. All it was long, and it was close. Was it <laughs> no, I could, I could use those. Never mind. <laughs> um, so, what do you think you're gonna? We're gonna see at PSX. People. Good. Games. Nailed it. PlayStation. Probably Done. all. I think we definitely see a name change. Can and I pick this up and drop it? No. no <laughs> I'm the, I paid for all these mics, except for the one that you, you yours, which is over there. Oh, that's over there. I didn't know what it was. But, um, yeah, I think we'll probably see name changing for sure. I think we'll probably see um, Morpheus. is we mm-hmm. on display on the floor. I'm excited to actually use Morpheus. Yes, yeah, me too. I've used everything but. Actually, have I used Morpheus? I don't know. Do I've used so many VR kits. Do you think it'll affect you the same way? Or? Yeah, it always does. I will get sick if I use VR. I, I'm interested. So I've only ever used VR for like stints of like two minutes. And mm. I'm like, yeah, okay, I get the idea. I get the concept. But even if you use the Google ones, the like yeah. Google Cardboard ones where you hold it and you put your phone in. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Now, 
I have a st- like when I use that for like five minutes because I've got one at home. Like I then when I take it off, I go whoa, and I'm a bit uneasy just for a minute. I'm yeah, like yeah. A, like I can't adjust to my surroundings. I wonder what it'd be like sitting there for two hours. Did you see like, the guy? Can you? Did you see the guy playing Fallout in full vert VR with a treadmill? I saw I it. I saw the video, but I didn't actually watch cool. it. it. Didn't look good. It's fucking cool. I'm just wondering how I'll react. Like, cause people seem to just play it for like 15 minutes, and then it's like, yep, okay, your your go's done. How are people actually gonna react to like two hours in a row? Well, I mean, like, or, like I, what's the maximum time you can sit with it on? The longest I've done, I think, was maybe like an hour with a drift. Okay. Uh, it was between 30 minutes and an hour, so it's an extended mm-hmm. period of time, and um. So, I mean, like, I normally don't mind VR because it is usually, like, oops, sorry, hit the mic. It is usually, like, pop in and out. Mm-hmm. Um, but after that amount of time, I stood up and I was like, uh, I don't know about like, this. Yeah. It's just I'll, your feet feel a bit odd. My feet felt weird. It felt weird to be standing yeah. again. Uh, and it felt weird to, like, I got up and I felt like I should walk. Mm. Like, <laughs> so I could, you know, realign myself. Um, and it was just a strange feeling. Uh, Maybe it's something that goes away with repeated use. Maybe. You know, it's, it, it could all be um, kind of like how people feel motion sick when they play first person shooters. Mm. Um, well, that, when that can go away. Exactly, yeah. So it could be something that could be fixed over time, you know, even in your case. But, um, Sean. Mine's pretty frankly. extreme. But yeah. Like, mine is like violently ill. Like, yeah. I, my, my whole body rejects it. I, I, I always have really bad um, motion sickness, though. Like, even driving in the back of cars, if I'm looking down at my phone, I'll throw up. But if I hold, for people who have uh, like car sickness, one of the best things I've ever found, if you want to use your phone on in your car, not when you're driving, of course, unless you're me, um, <laughs> hold it eye level. Because if you're not looking down, there's something different, and you don't mm. get sick. Interesting. Which was like, I found, I was like, crucial. I can't, I can't read paper. When If I'm in a car, I've never been able to read, like, I can't read like a book. I, I read my say- phone. Fine, but like if I'm reading a book, I just so I'd never do it. I just can't. That makes Tom's like right. driving to the market. He yeah, pulls yeah. out his shotgun. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he looks at it. Yeah, when I was a kid, it was the same thing. Uh, like if I read for more than an hour or something in the car, I would just start mm. to yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, like if I send a tweet in the car, I get sick. So are you terrified of the potential like VR future that people? No, I get used about? to it. I'll just suffer through it until yeah, I'm used to it. it. Just like eventually, a, I will be training for it. Just play yeah, with a bucket pulses. next to you. <laughs> but you could just you can. There are ways to beat it. You know, you <laughs> could take Dramamine. Dramamine helps tremendously. Um, so I think that's a anti motion sickness yeah. pill. And then eventually, your body will just build up, and you won't need it anymore. It's the same thing. I get sick when I fly. Yeah. But like I've flown so much recently that like my body's used to the movement. I don't get sick anymore. Now I just get sick because I'm a pussy. Yeah. Um, you are. Man, I. I'm a, I am I am not looking forward to getting on a plane tomorrow, and it's going to be raining when we take off. My and brain land. hasn't quite, as you know, I don't get excited till the last minute. Yeah. So, I still haven't really comprehended it that we're leaving tomorrow. I I've got stuff done. I've had a very productive day. You had a really productive I've had, day. I've done five videos. Yeah, you, so. you had a really productive day. I'll take that. I have been having this thing happen where I just can't sleep for extremely long periods of time. Mm. And then I just crash, and there's nothing that I could do about it. Uh, I went to sleep last night, yesterday for 45 minutes, fell completely asleep, was unconscious, woke up because I had to pee, and, that was and it. I could not fall back asleep. Period. So, so what's interesting is that I had no. Sl- I obviously went. I went to bed at like five, no four. Sorry, four. Went to bed at four. Went to sleep at four, and I woke up at about nine and got up. Now. What's interesting is the other nights I've been, the other days I've been like a bit meh during the day. I've had more sleep. So I think I need to be constantly in a state of tired to be productive. You know what it is? You just, I've realized this too. If I sleep for more than six hours, I wake up exhausted. Yeah. If I sleep for six hours or under, I usually am fine. Yeah. I uh, can operate really at a really high level. When I'm in England, I sleep, I live on San Francisco time, Mm. which is not good. Like well, not no. Like actually, I, actually, I'll probably live yeah. on more this time technically. But like, I'll go to sleep at like three a.m. Mm-hmm. in England, so that's probably about midnight here. Yeah, it's yeah. like a reasonable time to go to bed. No, well, it's probably like that's like, like ten or that's like eleven or yeah. not even. That's like eight nine. What are you talking about? In right, San Francisco? It, no, it's, it's, it's five hour difference between here. And oh, of course it is. Yeah. What am I on about? Uh, it's because it's three hours. I live on three time zones. My head's just fucked. I yeah. don't know what's going on. <laughs> You've but been in this time zone for a long time, though. I have now. This is the longest I've been in a time zone for like three months. Can't wait to fuck that up tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's gonna be really good. Yeah, that we're gonna be. <laughs> at least we're not going because the twenty four hour one's horrible. Yeah, that, that was, was really great fun. Bad. But like the time, then coming yeah. back like two was, days, we were so just fucked. Got, like two yeah. days, we was like, I was like, what time is it? I can't do anything. I don't even know what day is now. Tuesday. Yeah. 
Monday. No. What is today? Tuesday. 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 Okay. It's Tuesday. weird that I will. I got hit me when I got out of my car this morning at work, and I was like, "Fuck me!" I leave for San Francisco tomorrow. Mm. That's weird. You dude. excited? Yeah, I'm always excited. I'm excited for pretty much everything. What games? Any games? Um, I think that we see I No think... Man's Sky is functioning in VR. I think it'll be and it'll be on the floor. I think that'll be the That'd keynote. Be cool. I think the keynote's gonna be like you know, here's uh, Morpheus, here's No Man's Skies, and here you can play it. If No Man's Sky isn't VR compatible, it will not be at the show. No, it won't. Yeah. Be. Like, if, unless that is their big announcement, it won't be there. I wonder what the big announcement is. I mean, I, th- I think it's very clearly. I talked to Tidex earlier, and I, I think it's very, like, he is. He's been. He'll bet the house, man. He's 100% that you can change your name. Yes, yeah, he's been tweeting. 100%. About it a lot. So, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, here's a good question. What is the, What would be the best announcement? Like, w- like a dream announcement for you? Game wise, mine's the that's, getaway. That's like hard to come up with because it's like I want something new, and I'm not gonna know that until I see it. I, I want the getaway to come back. I, I, I recently Colin talked about the getaway on um, PS I Love You XOXO, and I was like, "Fuck, the getaway is so good. The getaway was such an awesome game." Now it's completely unrealistic because in the first scene of the getaway, you see more guns in London than are in the entire country. Yeah, uh, combined, including the army. Um, but like everybody in the getaway, has, everybody has a gun, and they're all living in England. And I didn't realize how ridiculous that was until I met you, and you were like, "No <laughs> chance in hell, unless they're all farmers." Yeah, <laughs> the guy's like got a nine mil Glock. The other guy's got an assault rifle. The other guy's like, "How'd you even get that in the country?" Typically, not farmer weapons. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but um, I've played the I beat the getaway, the first one, and I played most of the second one. That game is fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Which is like gritty English. It was all of my favorite things. Yeah, I would like. That's why you left town? Yeah, yeah. I'm all those. <laughs> you got uh, the Santa beards going on. I know it's gone gray. It's getting what? It's been going gray for a while. There's like this gray patch, like here. I think am I pointing yeah, right? You got one like right there, and then you got. There's, a, there's bit a few. There's, there's gray dotted around, but there's one bit that's yeah. like done, and it's gray, and then it's spreading now into the middle. So oh, who knows? I could have a gray beard. How old? Yeah, twenty two. Oh, all right. But that's, that's, that's what long. I thought. People have loads of people. I know someone that he dyes his beard yeah. because then it keeps it a good consistency. You should do color, a black beard. No, it would no. look fucking mental. No, it would look awesome. No. With, uh, with his with hair the same hair, color? Yeah. Uh, no, not gonna happen. Yeah. I, have you seen like old gar- old men with like big beard? Like they look like this, but they're mm-hmm. old. It looks really cool. It does I'm look really I'm looking forward cool. to it. <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh, yeah, they're they're, they've got tattoos as well. Yeah. Like, have you seen the. There's yeah. a recent thing. You on, have like, to. Hopefully it's still in style. I mean, those. Do you remember the grandpa that we saw in SF? That dude was banging. Fuck, that dude was, was banging so eighteen cool. year olds every night, dude. That guy he was. was the, so, honestly, I was just like, that dude's so fucking cool. <laughs> he was wearing a fitted. He had like a San Francisco Giants fitted. He had a giant beard, tattoos all down, in a flannel. Got to be like sixty five. Yacked out of his he mind. He was fucking beefed. He was like just like chain whatever. wallet converse. I was like, what? This this guy's like Joe Rogan. If he was like an old guy, <laughs> he was so cool. fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'd fuck that guy. Yeah. Uh, so back to PSX. And I, then he I also like, looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I would like to be able to play. This is very unreal. This is my. I'd like to be able to play Horizon. Yeah, be super cool. I mean, I, if it's unlikely, but I think be cool. that's, that's my. That's my super like. Super that's, cool. that's, that's, that's what I mean. That's out. my like. That's my ultimate like wish of mm-hmm. that. If the, if I could have any wish, it'd be to play that because it looks that good. I think that that's. And I would like to give it. It's, it's possible. It's not out of the possibility, but it's not. Not that's definitely. probably holiday next year, right? That's, yeah. I think that's what they said. But that means that means yeah. that, that game has a to? playable slice. Yeah, but I mean. playable that they'd want to serve to people. I don't know. Well, they've done it. They did it the last. So they did it at E3 when they announced yeah. it. It was that playable slice. Then they did it again. Paris Games Week. Paris Games Week. So maybe I, I, I think you might be able to play that scene. I think It'd be that cool. I'd like that. I also think that we're going to get a Destiny announcement. I think that they're going to announce a new raid. Interesting. For 2016. Because we today we got challenge mode, and I think that it's not a coincidence that challenge mode dropped the week of PSX. When yeah. when Bungie will be there confirmed, I have an appointment, or my friend has an appointment with them, who I'm going to try to tag along with. And um, so they launched the very last thing that you could do in the raid this week, and then they have PSX in the mm-hmm. chamber. Uh, DJ is going to be there as a community manager. Like All the guys from Bungie are going to be there. So... I think that it's very likely that we see um, see another Seems raid announcement. Right. I think it's going to be a cabal raid. I would fucking go nuts. I would, that would be the big announcement for the show for me because that would be huge. Because so I'm like dying for a new raid. 
Sony and Activision and, and Bungie, I guess, by extension, they do have a very, like, intimate relationship with all the advertising and all the Yeah, exclusives. they have exclusive stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I think it's going to happen in I would think now. I would really lose my mind if it was, like, a PlayStation exclusive for six months. That won't happen. No. But, no. man, I, I would be like, hey, Xbox. Yeah. I'm giving the finger for the audio <laughs> version. You know what? I, you know what? Like fucks up all predictions for me is like the fact that the VGXs are coming up as well. Yeah. So like anything that I feel like, oh, well, they might announce this or this would be a good idea. I'm like, or they might save it. What do you think we're gonna see at the, at the VGX this week? Whatever we don't see at PSX. Like, yeah, no, but so like, I, that's what I'm saying. Like I have no idea. I think we see the new Red Dead. Yeah. Yeah, I think I was saying that for a long time. I think I think that new new Red Dead is in the chamber. I think it's ready to go. Well, not ready to go, but I think the announcement is yeah. either. Sure. Either read, this read, year or next year. You read rumors. Yeah, there is a uh, rumor yeah. circling that um, that one of their people who used to be on the development team is saying that that's like basically going like confirmed. I would like to point out that I fucking called that like five months ago. Yeah, I remember you talking about that. Yeah, I said E3. Another, yeah. It's going to be ha- I, like, it's I pretty, said E3. Pretty, Trevor then happening. corrected me and said, you'll most likely see it at, if it's coming out this year, you'll most likely see it at VGX. And then I was like, fuck me, that Trevor kid that writes on our website and the community page, make sure you guys go check it out, is a smart guy. He's and he's good smart. looking. Mm. Got great hair. And he's probably right. So then I changed it up. I used my information that Trevor gave me, and I was like, I think that we will see it. And I'm sticking to that. Yeah, I think yeah. that Red I Dead... Mean, it's obviously it's going to do one. The interesting yeah. Yeah. Thing, well, and it comes they, out next will year. Will they call it Redemption 2? No. Or will they go... Red Dead. I oh, know they might call it Red Dead Redemption too, because that they would probably sell better. That's what I mean. That's that's the that's the dilemma they've got. But like you, you gotta wonder like, does Rockstar need the help? Like, or would they rather? <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Would they rather just do what they've been doing? Which yeah. Is, you know. But I think that they will. I think it would be called Red Dead Redemption Two, and then, yeah, I mean, I think that that would be fucking huge, dude. Maybe that would be huge. But then, as I said the other day, I'm kind of getting sick of open world games. Oh, I've been sick. We looked, we, so we were there. We were yeah. at Best Buy. The deals was some of the deals were still there. I managed to get Mad Max. It said so. It said twenty five, twenty four ninety nine on the thing, hmm. and uh, we took it till he was like yeah sixty. I was like no, it says twenty four ninety nine. So I got it for twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, boom, magical. Nailed it. Um, but anyway, we were looking at the games. And I just went, everything yeah. is open world. Every what? single game that we could see. That's in the main the new console is the best yeah, one to show it off. It is, but it's like that's the story of this year. Like I can I wanted to play something where I don't have to think much. Yeah, like. Pretty much every game that was nominated for Game of the Year, which is where the other topic of the other show is Game of the Year, mm. uh, as well. Yeah, I mean, like, it, that's why I think there's a lot of excitement over... Uh, Uncharted? The, well, yeah, I was going to say uh, Uncharted, obviously, but also um, Tomb Raider, because it was slightly... It was open world, but it was more guided. Tomb Raider? So we talked about last year's one. No, no, no this, this most so recent one. Is, that, is, it, is it the same concept as the, first, the, the reboot one? Because the reboot one was, like, it was open world... But it wasn't. Open world. It was linear. Yeah. It was very it's linear. Like Bloodborne. I think yes, the, exactly. I think very, sim- very similar to Bloodborne. You can yeah. do where You can go wherever you like. You can go backwards. Basically, you can go backwards. You That's what it is. Yeah. Is yeah. you can go backwards. That's the only thing it adds. I think the idea is that like you can move through areas and treat it like it's a linear game, or you can like spend a lot of time in each of these different like hubs. Yeah. And it's I guess it is very similar to Bloodborne in that sense. Yeah. Um, I think. Like having it's not just a big wide open world like Mad Max or Fallout or you know The Witcher where you can literally just do like yeah. go in any direction. Yeah. Um, I think that does have more appeal right now than mm-hmm. the just massive open world games because people yeah. are getting tired of that. Yeah, because this because so. yeah this, you can you can basically just have to go backwards. Yeah. That's the addition. You I think backwards. next year will be the year that we start to see that not be every I hope game so. because I think that's the. That was like the oh man, look what we can do. We can mm. make these giant like look how big our games. And there's can a get. place for them. Like those, yeah, there, there are is. times where you they want to play them, but when them. you when when you just are just constantly playing those games, yeah, you get it gets diluted and gets swamped, and you, to the point where you're like, oh, I don't really want to be. Yeah. I don't want all, I don't want all this freedom anymore. I want to just qu- quickly get through a story. I guess yeah. what it is is that like all the developers, uh, like you said, wanted to show off their new games, and they all got yeah. access to these consoles around the same time. Yeah. So I, this I is mean, probably when yeah. it's all going to come. Out. I've been tempted to go back and play Last of Us again because that's. You know, that kind more of streamlined, bit, yeah. bit, bit more linear. Yeah. Indeed. Sorry. So, that's okay. Yeah. So, do you want to move into... Hey, my cat's here. ...the main... Hi, Fuzz. ...subject. Yeah, we can move on to Game of the Year. So, obviously, cool. Game of the Year is upon us. Like, the, the season of Game of the Year is upon us, where uh, major media outlets start to, you know... It's December 1st. Yeah, talk about Game of the Year. Yep. Now, we're not a major media outlet, but we're still going to... At least the three of us are going to give us a game of the year. And I think Fred's going to tweet his out to Definitely. both his followers. Sure. Um, Should I ask him? No. 
Are we? Okay. Um, actually, we should have thought about it. We're not trying to agree or anything, are we? I, th- yeah. I, th- I, th- I think we could come to one. Think, let's do it. Let's do. Let's, let's announce each. Let's, let's do our own, and then mm-hmm. we'll see. But if we I, th- I think. I think. I think. I. Yeah. I think. So I, know I look up the list, right? And and there's four games that pop up on everybody's list. We have Bloodborne, Fallout Four, Metal Gear Solid Five, The Phantom Pain, and Super Mario Maker. Interesting. Oh, and The Witcher. I apologize. So okay. there's five that show up on everybody's list. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I know Tom wanted to talk about it. And then one Tom more. has a, few more. a couple more. Mm-hmm. So my game of the year is on the list right there, and I guess uh, I could go mm-hmm. first. Mine's Bloodborne. Mm-hmm. Uh, do, do you want to talk about th- like three, maybe three, a few games that you've that were close? I mean, close. It? Like, so the one that I really thought was going to overthrow was Fallout, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm done with Fallout. I've decided that I'm not. I don't need it. Yeah. I'm, I'm done with it. And what was the deciding factor is when I went into the first area of the game. After playing it for 30 hours of just exploring and being like, the story. I actually don't give a fuck about the story of this game. Not even now, a little. Now, I, I said this to you the other day. I was like, I don't, I was like, so Fallout 3 story, I was, I, I just did, I did, I only did the main storyline. I like oh, came right. the main storyline and was like, and then obviously you go on little bits sure. and little adventures, but I mainly did the main storyline. I was like, oh yeah, awesome. This one I have no, it's like, I don't care about the kid. Fuck him. Like, no, that was the thing. If maybe I... it's because I don't, I can't relate to it. That's my story. Like, so with the dad, everyone's like, "Oh, people have had dads." Like, you, you have, you have an attachment to a dad. Like, my dad. Yeah, I want to save my dad. I'll go find him. I don't yeah. want him to be fucked. He's my dad. My kid. I don't have a kid. Fuck him. Fuck the kid. That was like, my that's, thing. That was my. Med- that's, I'm kind of sure. like, like that's kind of, like, obviously I'm children. Fr- if I'm kind frozen, of a monster, but, but I get what you're saying. I'm <laughs> frozen for two hundred years, and I come out of the freeze, and I look, and I'm like, someone killed my wife and took my kid. That means I'm a bachelor again. <laughs> I'm free to do whatever I want. <laughs> now there's Woo! Some, there's something to be said about God, you can like, throw away your wedding ring. Oh my god. Uh, there's something to be said it. about like the lead <laughs> up in Fallout Three, where like you grew up with like your dad yeah. in the vault. The worst. Or whatever, yeah, exactly. like, you kinda, yeah. It sucked, but there was a there was like a reason. But there was a connection there. So that's, tenuous so as it was. So Fallout fixed its issue, or fixed in inverted commas, its issue of the oh. slow entry that a lot of people had complaints about. But in doing that, there was no build up to the like. There, in Fallout 3, yeah, you build a relationship with the dad. Like, yeah. you have this thing going. You're Even like, okay, I get, I get all a bit of this. And this was just like, oh, you go in the vault. Oh, you go down. Oh, you're frozen. Wife's been shot. Kid's been taken. Spoilers. Yeah, well, there's a first I mean, spoilers for five minutes. minutes. So yeah. this is literally the first five minutes of the game. And then you're like, oh, okay, right. Yeah. All right, then. Well, to be honest, you said that she died anyway, a bit earlier on. I know, no, no. I realized that I did that. It's yeah, my yeah. fault. Okay. But, like... <sighs> Someone's going to eat this. So, do you know what I mean? Like, so, so <laughs> yeah, it, no. it is good because you get thrown right into the game, but then yeah. I have no actual attachment to No, and I, and I think that's really what it was. Like, there's a... Um, that was way better for someone... I mean, mm. like, you were probably way happier about that just to be in the game, like, free to go. Um, I was going to play... I was going to play the storyline anyway. Mm-hmm. I wasn't overly impressed by it. I didn't have a connection to I mean, Liam Neeson in this one. Um, was it him again? So, no, no, no! I'm just like, uh, like I didn't the have equivalent. that. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, I was like, Liam Neeson sucks, kind of. Did they have a cameo in this one? Well, did they have a cameo in this one? Because it was Matthew Perry in New Vegas, as in from Friends. Child I don't even Friends. Oh, oh yeah, he I do was, remember that guy's voice. Yeah, so he was. I can't remember which character it was, but he was Ron Perlman, probably in the game somewhere. Oh wait, no, he wasn't. Dave Fenoy was in it. Well, in this one, yeah. Okay. I don't know if those are cameos so much as just yeah. voice actors. Just a voice actor, <laughs> like, famous yeah. voice actor. We treat it as a cameo because we like him. But yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's yeah. it was one of those things where I was like, oh, this isn't what I want from this game. I don't want this game to ever tell me what to do. Pretty much, I want this game to be like, here's like, like vague reasons to go to this area. And I'm yeah. like, all right, that's good enough for me. I'll go explore, and then I'll you know kill everybody and do my thing. And then I like, I was like, all right, I'm done. I kind of want to play Rainbow Six. I was gonna. I mean, Rainbow Six isn't gonna win my game of the year period, no. but um, it looks really good, and I'm really excited for it. I was. I watched a lot of footage today of it, and it looks. Yeah, there's good. not much point us buying it at the moment. No. We're going away for a week. And yeah. Then... If it works, if that game works, it looks awesome. Yeah, it, it's pretty best to wait a week anyway. And let yeah. It settle, sort yourself out a bit. Um, have you got any others? Any other honorable men- honorable mentions? If you, I realized if you had told me, a couple years ago. That in a year where where Metal Gear Solid Five was released, and Halo Five was released, I would be giving my game of the year to a Japanese role playing game. Well, it's not really a JRPG. It's not a JRPG, but to like a RPG, which I, I it was normally an RPG don't which was like. made in Japan. So yeah, it's from, like, from yeah. Studio <laughs> Japan. From Studio it Japan. It is, but it's not. But it's like uh, I would have been like, you're out of your fucking mind. But like Metal Gear Five wasn't the game for me. 
I liked it because, fine yeah, because you had a, a serious yeah, attachment. Yeah, but it, it was like, went in fresh. Yeah. It was like it was an enjoyable game. I, I, still I enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. Like, and then, as from a gameplay perspective, the gameplay mm-hmm. is like un, unmatched. Yeah. very very good. I mean, like for my list, you know, we've already kind of talked about it before. It was like it was uh, Bloodborne, which we agree on, and like we can talk more about that if you want. Fallout, which I have similar sentiments about, but yeah, you know, I enjoyed. I guess because my attachment to it, and the Metal Gear. Even though I had like, I wasn't even gonna pick up that game. Like we had a conversation about it, and then it got really good scores from a bunch of places. Yep. And happened to me, I wasn't gonna get it, and yeah. then everyone was like, "Yep," and I was like, "All right." Then. So I, 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 like, I end up. I think I bought shit. it the day after it came out. I then yeah. went and bought it and like bought it in store. But yeah, Metal Gear's again. So no serious attachments. So I had no expectations, and it was a good yeah. game. Fallout, I had. High expectations and it it, it it matched exactly yeah. what I, it was exactly what I thought it would be yeah. and I will go back to it at some point but I have I think I burnt out a bit quick. You played a lot. I killed it and then went yeah and now I, and then I started doing the main story cool. and I'm like mm. when I went to go trade in Fallout the other day yeah uh, the guy at this the register at GameStop gave me like shit he was like oh well uh, you know I guess you're gonna buy this because I bought uh, Vault Boy socks uh, uh, he said like, you're gonna buy socks but you know you're gonna trade in the game I was like well I play like. 35 hours of it, so I guess I have permission to trade it in. He's like, Oh, oh, I was like, Yeah, I fucking. He's like, I thought he, he's like, He was like being a poser, yeah. and I'm like, I, I played the game probably more than you, so, so I put, don't like, give me that shit, GameStop employees. I put like a lot of time into Fallout, probably, probably around like 150 hours, and like, I loved it. Uh, like I said, it, even though it's the game I might enjoy, like the most from certain perspectives this year, I think I think Bloodborne just beats it because of the wow factor. And, like, Fallout 4, in some respects, is, like, a victim of and a beneficiary of its, mm. like, high high expectations. It's the reason yeah. why so many people were excited about it, but it's also the reason why, like, it seems to be burnout. Like, mm. people played that game to death upon its first release, and now everyone's kind of, like, fading out on it a bit, you know? Yeah, it's a weird yeah. thing to see happen. Yeah. I'm, I've am i gone through... I've gone back and played Bloodborne. Like, I've been playing it again mm-hmm. for our Let's Plays. And, I have um, as well, but after watching you play it, I was like, oh, yeah, I remember this. I remember yeah. why. The game is so good. good. It's a very and good game. When you're really in the zone, it's harder when I have to do a Let's Play and, like, narrate it, but, like, when mm. I'm just, like, sitting there and I'm like, you feel like a god. Yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, these guys that I know can very easily kill me in, like, two hits, I'm gonna fucking destroy them because they're not gonna even come close. Yeah. And, like, I'm back into that zone where I could, like, just... Like, nobody's killing me but bosses. I'm fucking everything else up. So it's like... Ah, it's such it's such a such a perfect like people are asking what I think is like gameplay perfection and it's probably Bloodborne. Like yeah, as far as a like a combat game. system, that game is flawless. Now the fact that it literally does not have a story and is obtuse to the pro- to the point of like I missed bosses in that game because I just didn't fucking know where they yeah. were. And like I missed a whole quest line that I didn't even know you could do. And people were like, that's half the fun. I was like, no. Playing through 60 hours of the game and not seeing it all is not it, half the fun. It doesn't... It's a weird game, because there's no... Like, so I don't know how many... I killed, like, 10, 11 bosses. I don't know how many hours that took me, but I put a lot... I put plenty of hours into it. But then I'm like, I have no idea what was happening. Yeah. The only... All I was doing was just going from A to B, running around, and then just going, oh, here's a boss, killing... Like, fighting them forever, and then going, oh, I've killed them. And then just tr- then just trying to find the next one. There was yeah. no real direction, and like, I've just jumped back into it. And I have no idea where I'm meant to be. Yeah. I'm like, oh, right. My I favorite could look part into it, but I'm like, yeah. is yeah. seeing new areas yeah. in the game. I and mean, like when you go through and you're like, oh, here's the cathedral ward, and you go through the cathedral and you see. It. My favorite really is seeing the new enemies in the area. Because yes, because you, you've got to learn that. The big thing was like, I'm like, all right, I get this game. We got crazy villagers from Resident Evil Four. We got ogres, which mm-hmm. suck. I hate them. Giant pigs, I guess, is a thing here. Rats. Uh, rats. There's weird things that Herbs. crawl on the floor. Yeah. Like, like and then in the water. You, things, right? And then They're you get like the, the water that crawl on the floor. That like the werewolf monsters too. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. You, uh, oh, you got the werewolves. Yeah. And those are like the first area for, uh, and then your dogs. Yeah. But then you go through, you kill uh, Father G, mm-hmm. and then you go up the ladder and you get to the cathedral ward, and then you have this new enemy that. Kicks your fucking ass. Is that the one with the weird hat? Yeah, it's the hat, yeah, and then no, they have the, yeah, the, the yeah, like thing, uh, the lantern. Yeah, yeah, and the lantern. Those guys, and they're scary as fuck. Yeah, they're like, because oh, you see one, and you're like, fuck, this is huge. Thought, what is going on? I thought it was a boss. Yeah, yeah. I was you, like, you uh, question it. You're like, is it? Because they are massive, and like, yeah. and then he kills you in two hits. Yeah. And then the guys who are super yeah. giant. Yeah, I'm like, like, oh fuck me, those guys yeah. really suck. But they're just normal guys. You yeah. gotta fight, and they carry it's, around a giant yeah. ball and mace, and they'll fucking crush you in one hit. And or better yeah, 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 and then you keep going to the different bits, and it's it's good. But there, yeah, there is like I always feel like I played however many hours I played. I probably look into it, I don't know how many it is, and I could just go. 
I could have technically finished it. I haven't, you know what I mean? Like, I could, that, like that, that's done to me. Like, I've, 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 I've done enough. Bit, yeah, of course. Yes. But, like, I could be like, yeah, I've done enough on that. Yeah. And Because there's no real definitive... No, it doesn't feel know, like an actual ending. No, like, no. Because there's no real story it's to it. It's really dumb. It's just kind of it is what it is. So it's kind of like... I don't know. Like, I, I, swear, I know I got like, this very true little, ending, too. I know very little about the... Like, the story, I can kind of follow the bits and pieces that they lay out for you. But as far as gameplay goes, I, I think I agree with you in that, like, it's maybe as close... Like, you know how you used to feel beating someone in, in Rust? Like yeah. When we used to talk about that? It's kind of like the closest you can get to that with an AI, mm. uh, like, fighting an AI. Because mm. it's like, that might be one of the hard... I mean, like, you could play Dark Souls, I guess, and see how that, you know, measures up. But um, it's one of the hardest against AI experiences that you'll have in a game like revolving around actual combat, you know. Yeah, I was I was like following uh, Goldfarb's like following like, mm. playthrough of it, and he's like, people were like, "Yeah, it took me four hours to get through the uh, first alleyway," and I'm like, "Fuck, I forgot how hard that was when I first started playing the game. first I, the first section yeah, first for me. Section I probably teeth, spent like teeth, kicks your teeth. I, I spent two three hours just that first section, yeah. and you just can't. You're like, what the fuck am I meant to do? Yeah. Like, luckily, how I was, is luckily, this game someone so hard? told me it's hard, so yeah. they were like, the first section's hard, then it gets a bit easier, and it, that is very true. Like that first section, yeah, you, you just, just get better. You just keep. You're just like, what is going on? And it's it's it is it's brutal. Yeah, the, the game doesn't give a shit about you either. Like it, if it did, it would let you level up in yeah. the beginning, but it doesn't. And it like wants you to have to fight the at boss just as hard every single time through that first alleyway as it was like as hard as it yeah. was the last time. And it doesn't care how many times it takes you. And like even uh, the the huge joke of it is that even if you recover your blood echoes like every time and you fight those same people and you become perfect at it, you can't level up and spend those blood echoes until you get to the boss. Yeah, and, and then, and then you're gonna die, and you you might never get them back, and you can't yeah. use those blood echoes to level up again. Yeah. So it's just like it, it, it's, the game is just like no, it's not really so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. And like I know people that didn't know that their shortcut was there. That yeah. like they never opened the shortcut, so oh, they yes. had to go yeah. around. Yeah, when you like, when you like the first, like, uh, well, and there's well, that thing to the left that takes you directly to the boss. Yeah, there's people that just kept going around. Yeah, and I was like, "Fuck, man, yeah. like that is brutal." Well, like, someone told the... me about it. Maybe I don't know if I because because I, yeah. I was did it. I played. It I went into that game so. so blind. I had no idea, and I was just like, I did, but while on stream, so like, every now and again, someone would just go, "Oh, this is over here," but like, actually, it's yeah. quite useful. I was blown away by that game. I also yeah. fought Father G before I fought the cleric beast, so I was. Just really confused oh yeah that's interesting it's much yeah. harder you can just go straight there yeah you, like, you, can, fight a, you can fight the bosses and whatever that's you the you problem want. or the good thing about it I, yeah. I did it differently this time where like uh so you know that section of the game where you the guy shooting the gatling gun mm -hmm. you don't have to fight him no you don't you can actually sneak up behind him and talk to him and he won't kill you he'll become your friend he'll give you his pendant and his weapon and he'll hmm. leave and he won't kill you anymore. Interesting. He will kill you a lot if you try to fight him head on. He'll, yeah. He's very good. Um, yeah. But what you have to do is you have to fight and kill the Bloodstarved Beast first. So I have never done that. I have always fought that guy, then used that area to get to the Bloodstarved Beast. Mm. Um, which is like, you know, yeah. cool. Um, but this time like, I went and fought the witch first. Which is like, well, yeah, what we did, let's play in the middle of the night. And I was like, I never did it like this. And like, I'm like... Fuck, great. I never have to come to the section of the game again. I got that p a section that I like the least out of the way. Yeah, definitely. It, it, it's like, it's cool that the game lets you do that. Yeah, it's cool. I just wish I had a little so, more direction. I've got another couple of games, different yeah. ones. So I've got Rocket League's one that I, is an actually, it's an awesome game. Now, yeah. it wouldn't, I've, I've said this is just kind of in an honorable mention. It never would have really won it. No. But it's a, a very good sports game in that it brings a lot of different sports people together. And it's, it is almost. A perfect sports game in the way you can play it. Like, you, like I've got some games saved where I've been losing by like three three points, and you come back in like forty seconds, yeah. and you abs and like it's such a good rush. And like it's more just because it's so underrated. I just don't want to let it get ignored because it's no, a very absolutely. very good game. And, the, and my the run, a terrible say, time for me. The the beauty of it coming out for free for PlayStation Plus like just got so many people into that game. Huge yeah. audience, yeah. and it's, it served it very well because it made it have huge sales exactly. on PC, and it did incredibly well for me. Now my actual game of the year, I'm gonna go for Dying Light because. Ooh. Not even nominated. No, by nominated. like anybody. No, nope. and that's a get because it's it it's a bit too late, and they've got DLC. Come is it come out yet? Uh, or is it on its way? I think there's another. They have like a big bit of DLC. A big bit of DLC. But like, yeah. they, 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 if they'd have got that out like now, it would have got back in people's brains and maybe Probably, could have yeah. hit a few lists. But I don't think it really will. But that game I loved so much. Like that's the the. I think 
Well, I finished it. And I haven't finished Metal Gear or Fallout yet, or any of the other ones. I've any other big open world games I've played. But like the free running on it is superb. Did you ever? Did you play it? I, I played it for like a minute or two, just okay. Sean's copy, just to test out the free running yeah. and stuff. But because like, the free running is on, is per to, to start with. You're a bit. It's a bit confusing. The first. I remember the first few minutes. You're good. Okay. I was just making the adjustment. Okay. The first few minutes, you're like, it's a bit awkward because you have to aim. With you, you look at where you want to jump. It's yeah. so opposed to usually when you'd look above, wouldn't you? You'd be you'd be looking straight and you're kind of just sure. jumping. You have to aim where you want to grab ledges and stuff, mm-hmm. which takes it takes like five minutes to get used to. And then you're like, this is perfect. Right. And the, it does play really well. And the, the the how scary it is going out at night. I barely went out at night unless you had to during the yeah. mission because it's scary as fuck. The zombies go like ten times quick. During the day, the zombies are all slow. Yeah, yeah. They're wandering around so and they're easy. To, like, but they're not even easy to deal. So you can run from them. And that's no problem. But if you like accidentally like it happens to me all the time. You'd be free running and you think you can make a jump, and you miss it. And you don't make it, and you fall Ooh. into a group of like ten zombies, You're dead. and they're slow. But the sta- your they're stamina, not slow it, they're, they're, they're the slow during the day. Time. Yeah, but during oh, the day yeah. they're slow. But even though they're slow, your stamina, you can't kill the ten zombies. You can kill like five or six, and then you just got to run. And sometimes you can't, and it's 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 so it's just it's just a really good game. It was like Dead Island, but on steroids. Well, that's what I was going to say. Dead. Like it's, it, it, it ran better. very smoothly. Listen to your comparison. Like it's it's Dead Island kind of sounds like a joke where you could like fight forever and you're basically a superhuman. Yeah. Um, in comparison, this game actually sounds maybe more realistic than most zombie games. Yeah, in that, definitely. Like, you're, like, like no one's your just weapons break survive. very quickly. Yeah, 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 that's the way I felt about it. It was so realistic in that like you you can't just fight thirty yeah. zombies. But yeah, that's what that was fine. I'll yeah. sprint off now. Except like, for like the whole you know drop kicking zombies and like you get some powers later. Oh, oh, yeah, it gets a bit crazy, They did but... do the greatest thing ever on April Fool's where they turned the gravity in the game off. That's awesome. And you could just drop kicks. The best is like this guy runs up and drop kicks a zombie all the way across <laughs> the map. And he's not because he's on a rooftop. Yeah, it's like, yeah. boom! It's like yeah. it goes flying. But, and it's, it's a really good looking game and like yeah, the nice. gameplay is good. The story's okay. It's the story's fine. okay, but like even the ending's like fine. But it's, it's just a good game. It was the funny game... as well. You could chop the zomb- a zombie's arm off and they'd just kind of they'd try and bite you. And I, liked it. I got stuck at a part of that game and then I just kind of was like, it was. So that and Rocket League both came out at times where I was like kind of doing other stuff. Yeah. And I was like, uh, I was I just started my relationship at that mm-hmm. point. So I was like, not really giving Done, games like, yeah. Yeah, my 100%. Rocket League would have been when you were doing conventions. And yeah, stuff. I was. Rocket League came out the day I left for San Diego Comic Con. Yeah. So by the time I came back, everybody was dirty at it. And I was like, nope, I've missed my boat mm. to be good at this. Uh, that's what my friend's gonna have with Rainbow Six. I'm afraid I'm gonna get back next next week, and everybody's gonna be fucking great in Rainbow Six. But that's a shooter, and I'm good at first person shooters. You'll be able to catch it. I'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> I might not know everything. I'll like, I'll put the Fair word enough. out to Alfredo. I'm like, yeah, what do I? Use? What weapons do I use? All right, what do I do? All right, oh, that's fine. Because the first person shooter, you really just only need to know what weapons that you need to use. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I. I I liked Dying Light. I thought it was fun. I had to do some thing at a giant like. Uh, electrical grid i had to like turn an electrical grid, grid yeah I, I could never do it because not not it, was, it wasn't like hard i just didn't know exactly what i was supposed mm. to be doing and i just stopped caring yeah so, that happens with some that games. game came out at the perfect time for its sales like that was like yes. a big deal yeah but if you're i mean like and no like every publisher would rather have sales over game of the year but like it's hard to consider that game for game of the year because yeah. it, it felt like a but lifetime if it, ago. if it had come out now it would have died it would, not, yeah, it, would have gotten, never, it would have gotten Tomb Raider. No, no one. It would have. Can we no, start? Is that a term? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Because we, yeah, no one would have ever bought it. Yeah. It came out in February. Nothing was out. Yeah. I ended up actually buying it in like April. I think I bought it a few months. Later. I'm currently in the habit of buying games a couple of months late. Yeah. Well, they're fucking ridiculously expensive for you. Also, very we're going true. through his digital store, and I was like, "Oh, game's on sale. It's like fifty four dollars." And well, it's it was like, like 54 pounds. No, no, it was oh, 25 pounds, yeah. or it was like 30 oh, right, pounds, right, right. and it was like $54. Like, Whatever oh it is in dollars, God. it's usually the same in pounds, which yeah. makes no sense, because yeah. it's another Doesn't half of the price on top, so it means... But like, if, if Bloodborne didn't have such a fanatical following, it w- was almost the same situation, because that came out in like mid-February, right? Yeah. yeah. So that, it could have And it's got the DLCs well. just come out, so it's yeah. fr- fresh in everyone's heads again. Exactly. But um, Bloodborne's... Ow, oh, that sounded horrible. Jesus. I wonder if it picked up. I don't know, no, I maybe. <laughs> but um, yeah, Bloodborne has a very hardcore following. Like, if you stream it as well, you get 20, 30 people just jump on every sure, every sure. every Dark Souls or Bloodborne stream. There's a huge like pe- like audience dedicated to just that game, mm-hmm. and they're obsessed with it. And yeah, it's, it's a good game. Yeah, I think I think if we were to vote as a 
a group. I, I think, think it would be Bloodborne. I, I would. I, I think we we all agree on that. That's, that's really what I was going to say. Yeah. Earlier, that like, was gonna be... like, like, I, I agree. Bloodborne is one of my favourite games sure, this year, sure. definitely. Like, and I can't argue that as a group, like that would make sense if we had to to vote one. I was always disappointed that Fred never went really got back into it because I just feel like oh yeah, it was one of those games where he like I think he got to Father G and was like I'm done, and like there are a lot of people who who it's not their type of game. You really do have to be okay with getting the shit kicked out of mm. you for a little bit. And um, I know there's a lot of people who are like, Bloodborne's so easy. I'm like, all right, well, fine. I guess like you're really good at those Souls yeah. games. Hard to impress. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I, I was like the normal human if being. That if you played a Souls game, then of course it'll be easy. Yeah, you know what you're doing because it's it's a bit quicker and like people, everyone that came from Dark Souls say it's say it's really easy. And it it's the same thing when is, I just, but Dark Souls is fucking. It's the same thing when worse. I played 30 hours of Metal Gear and I was like, I tweeted out like, uh, I'm on the. Thir- 15th mission I haven't been seen yet is that normal and people were like no mm. and I was like okay well I guess I've been playing Metal Gear for 20 years the stealth games are my favorite games so I guess I have a bit of a heads up I have a bit of an advantage plus they make it pretty much impossible to be seen in, in Metal Gear that stupid reflex bullshit God. where you're yeah. like that was like, dude, dude, you're like, like having that conversation yeah you have time to like write an email yeah you know <laughs> like you have a your lot gun of time. a little bit, like you know. You can miss like five, six shots. <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, you're like, oh, he has a helmet on. Ding, 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 ding. There's his face. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's that's like I remember. I remember seeing that and being like, ooh, like ugh. That is like not Metal Gear at all. Now Metal Gear is like third on my list or whatever, and I just want to like real quick about that game. Like mechanically, it was a lot of fun to play. Um, it's no sto- spoilers for the story. Yeah, I was gonna say its story didn't. Seem to make much sense to me, but from what I've heard, that's like every Metal Gear. So, whatever. No. Um, no, that's not true, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like uh, something about flaming whales flying through the sky seemed a little odd. Um, it's the opening. That's good. Yeah. yeah no, I mean, no, that's not every Metal Gear. Okay. You can play Metal Gear One and understand the game. You can play Metal Gear Three and understand the game. And if you've played One, Two, and Three, you can Metal Gear Solid Four actually makes a lot of sense. Metal Gear Two is the one that's always a little like weird because there wasn't supposed to be any more after that and you're not supposed to actually know if Metal Gear 2 actually happened. Sure. So like when you played the Metal Gear Solid 2 the whole like thing in the game was like you're not supposed to know if Raiden did that mission or it was a virtual reality mission. Okay. And like then them being like no make a third one like f- like fuck I guess that's canon. Okay that did all happen. Then it's a little weirder because okay. suppo- it's supposed to be a little bit more open ended and obtuse but it didn't work out like Point that. Point being though like that sort of didn't... No 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 I get it. That story didn't seem to make much sense to me. Um, and I know that there's some tiebacks that, like, should have been more impactful to me, but whatever. Um, but, the, yeah, no, mechanically, that game was a lot of fun. And, like, it, it like we, we talked about the interest curve, uh, how it just, like, rose and rose and rose, and then eventually plateaus, and then you're kind of just like, off. oh, wait, I'm, I've been doing the same thing for, like, 100 hours. That's really uh, it. <laughs> so. Sometimes I'll look and I'll be like, I know this village so well. Yeah. And don't mm-hmm. get me wrong. That's what, and I got to talk to my friend Alex, who, who I, I take his opinion very seriously on video games, and he was telling me, like, hey, man, like, you got to stop doing the side-offs, because that's what's killing you. Man. You're getting bored because you're playing the same side-off over and over yeah. and over again. And I'm like, oh, I guess that's true. I pretty much am doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. 150 uh, times. Yeah, yeah. you do. Because you, you, it's similar in Fallout, where the settler missions keep coming up, and I did, I did a bit of that, yeah, where yeah. I kept doing them, and I was like, I'm just doing this again. This is for a second. Again. Yeah. Um, one thing about, like, the the thing that I wonder, though, is if I was, and this is going to sound weird, if I was less proficient at Metal Gear, like, if I wasn't as, I feel like I, by the end of it, I was like, even from the beginning, it, was, it wasn't it was too hard to be good at mm. that game. You no, know? that game was too easy. So once you start playing where you're like, okay, uh, I trank wherever they're not, like, covered in armor, and then I fulton them out, and then I sneak up to the vehicles, and I fulton those out, like, every mission kind of becomes the same after that, mm-hmm. because, like... No matter if it's, like, extract this prisoner or extract this, like, or, like, look at this file or get this, like, thing done, it all eventually comes down to canvas, fault and everything, finish your mission, you know? And that is why I don't like open-world Metal Gear games. Sure. Because that's not what Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, yeah. and 3 are. Yeah, yeah. 3, no, 3's not like that either. And neither is 4. The first four <laughs> Metal Gear games, I just, sorry, I went through yeah, it. No, I was like, like uh, are fucking yeah. masterpieces sure. with unbelievable set pieces and, like, like I said, Metal Gear 5 is a great game, and it's fun, but, like, it really is, like, here, get in there. Do, either collect something, collect a person, or kill somebody. But mechanically, I loved it, and that's why I want to see, and we've talked about this before, that engine handed out to someone else, 
yeah. so that maybe they could make something a little bit more innovative, innovative or a little bit more impactful with the story uh, than Metal Gear Solid mm-hmm. was. And that's the last I have to say on any of those games. <laughs> yeah, Metal Gear is, uh, like I said, th- that's, it always hurts me that, um, it always hurts me that that is the game where people are like, oh, dude, I get it. I know why you like Metal Gear so much now. I, yeah. I get it. And I'm like, you shut the fuck up. You don't get it. This is, this is you not why. But this is not why. <laughs> there are great reasons. There's like 150 gr- hours of great other Metal Gears. And like, <laughs> you want to, if you guys want to really get into Metal Gear, like play Metal Gear Solid 3. Metal Gear Solid 3 is the prequel to the first one. You don't need to know anything in the, for like you have you have to have zero context to play that game. It, it is a story about a CIA a CIA operative and his mentor, and his mentor defects to Russia and he's sent to kill her. Mm-hmm. That is and is like that's the story. There's no fucking giant like the, the other superheroes in it. Yeah, there's like crazy fucking super strong people. There's ghosts, but like there it's completely you you play through the game. You get to the end of the game. You're like. Okay, this is what happened. This is why it, it like there's almost no Kojima in that game where it's to the point where it's like really weird and you're not really sure yeah, yeah. why. Like there's like some weird stuff. There's a lot of boobies in it, mm. uh, which I you know Japanese, very Japanese. <laughs> um, but there's like no fox die and like none of the crazy shit. And so I was like, that is a much better. I still think Metal Gear Solid Three is a much better. Metal Gear game than Metal Gear Solid Five and Metal Gear Solid One is still the best one ever. So I like maintain that I would I would sit there and watch you play those games. It's just like three is when you could play because they fixed it. Yeah, like all the gra- all the cameras are fine now. Like they, it's normal people current camera it's, angles. It's not even so much that. It's like I want to I want to the reason I want to do it with you specifically is because like I want someone to kind of ex- not explain but like know the impact of everything that's happening and like make sure that like special attention is drawn to like these elements and like you know that I'm, you're playing this way because it's the way it's like supposed to be played. you know what i mean yeah whereas like when i was trying to play that game i was just kind of like stumbling in the dark like i don't really get it the controls aren't what i want them to be like still say metal gear solid twin snakes is an amazing game sure uh that's the f- remake of the first one for mm-hmm. gamecube and I hopefully hopefully one day that game will get remade i don't think it will though I, I i mean that's the weird thing like i will not play another konami game but. <laughs> but if they remade Metal Gear Solid 1, I would probably play might, it. Like, yeah, that, that's, yeah. like, the only exception to that. Where, like, Konami could come out and be, like... And the, thing, the fucked up thing about that whole, like, my whole stance with Konami is they have some of my favorite IPs. Yeah. So, like, I would... I love Castlevania. You say that, but, you know. <laughs> but no, no, I would, though. Okay. Because uh, I, I, at this point, I, I would be, like, a big fucking giant ass if I didn't. So... I well. guess that's all we have to say about that. <laughs> it's a little bit of a shorter show. Less than an hour. It won't be on. 47 minutes. Yeah. Sounds about right. Well, we it's game about, of the year. We talked about PSX. Game of the year. Is there anything else we wanted to cover? No. No. I watched Jessica Jones. Oh, yeah. Did you like it? It's all right. It's fine, right? like, That's the thing. It's, 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 I said this to Basically, it's, it's, it's just like... It's like Dare, if you like Daredevil, you'll like this. It's a person know, like running around. And it's like dark and it's... There's... There's a lot more sex it, in this one. It's she like, gets drilled it's, it's in the first like, episode. It's like there's, it's a person trying to be half yeah, normal, trying casual. to be half normal, <laughs> trying to be half normal, half not, and then they're going around and oh something's happened. Let's go investigate. It's it, it's it's enjoy- like, I'm not, like, I'm, It sounds like I'm being negative. I'm not. It's if you like Daredevil, you like this. Basically, is my review of it. Done. Tom was like, I could. What were your words? I could never watch another so episode I could, again I could, and I could, be fine. I could, be, I could never watch an episode again and be fine. I could watch more and be fine. Like it's either a way, recommendation. Is... But you know, like as far as Netflix originals go, we've already watched the best Netflix original series that they're going to put out. Peep Show. No, I'm trying to say no pe- original, original show. Oh, no, oh, no. Is, it's clearly BoJack Horseman. Oh yeah. Sorry. So I, everything after BoJack mm. is like a can fucking I, huge step down. Can I recommend Peep Show? You can if you'd so, like. It's super British. It's so English. Like it. Just watch Next, the first... Uh, I, I, someone out there, watch the first episode of Peep Show. It's on American Netflix and English Netflix, obviously. But just watch the first episode. It's only half an hour. Watch the first episode and tell me if you enjoy it. Because I don't know if it's too English. I've shown you clips, it's, but they're... It's, they're clips I'm about as English as... I'm all tally-ho, you, you get some, you get, You're about all. as English in Ameri- as an American can get. Yeah. Which is... And you got... Like, some of them you will get, but some of them... 
You definitely won't. But I want to know if it's fine. So if someone can just do me a favour and do that, that'd be great. <laughs> Spot a tear just, just take half an hour out of I your day. I want people to do that for you, but I also don't want you to be disappointed when they come back. Oh, no, no. Like, okay. like, I don't, no, I don't get any of the references. Then, then, I, then I'll know. I'll be happy. Okay, because okay. then I'll know whether or not I can recommend it or not. Tom's just sitting in the dark crying. Like, that <laughs> one scene is so perfect. Which though. one? The pregnancy one. The pregnancy scene. There's like a scene where the, girl, where the girl's like... Uh... So, but, so the concept of the show is... <laughs> don't ruin it. Because no, it requires a bit backstory so it's following these two guys that are in their like they start they start in their late 20s it start, gets into their 30s and they're living together in a flat in london right but they're just losers basically it's like it's it makes you feel happy if you're upset because like if you're feeling a bit shitty watch this and it's because their lives are so bad it's like okay yeah. it makes me feel better about my right, life right. they just get themselves into all types of shit but then so the concept of it is half the time the camera is like point of view camera and mm-hmm. it's their thoughts in their right. head so that explains so that's, the backstory. Yeah. So the girl's like, I have something to tell you. And it like goes into the guy's head. And he's like, please don't say you're pregnant. Please don't say you're pregnant. Please don't say. She's like, I'm pregnant. He's like, fuck. <laughs> it's so good. And it's not even his, right? It's just, she's just like saying she's pregnant in general. No. It, 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 I don't want to. Well, yeah, he's yeah. Yeah. But he's like, uh, and I don't know, Tom sent me a snap. He's like, every time someone tells you you're pregnant, this is how Sean reacts. Or how he reacted. Like, fuck. <laughs> Yeah. I, I'm just thinking about the one clip you showed me where it's like the guy and he like whatever about the lead up which is funny but I don't want to ruin it in case someone finds it it involves Bob Ross um, oh, yeah, where yeah. he calls the girl and yeah. he just yeah. like fucks it up yeah. so <laughs> like, yeah, he leaves his voicemail <laughs> it's, like, like, it's the worst voicemail it is a pretty show it's a pretty funny show yeah. by saying something stupid like I like you <laughs> and then he hangs up and he's just like and his mate just looks at him and he just goes he's like was that really bad he's like hmm <laughs> it's so good it's too funny. It's so good. Oh, Alright, guys, oh. so that's been Nerds of the Round Table. Make sure you guys go to nerdsonline.com. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Sean Twisters. Make sure you follow that guy on Twitter at Tom Hawkins 5. Follow Jack on Twitter at Jack is Gaming. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the most important thing is follow me on Snapchat at Sean Pitts. And me. <laughs> what is yours? My random one that I set up before, like th- two years ago now. What is it? Hawk1N5. Add it. Mine is stylish. I'm yeah. glad that we found something to fill that extra time with. <laughs> yeah, um, my Snap- for, like, Snapchat's good. Add us on there. Follow us on both of those, and then you'll see what we do at PSX. Yeah, we're... I was thinking we could put... Because we've got it ready now, we can get it ready Friday morning. People might be able to download it before they travel. Yeah, maybe. So we might be able to. We, can even put we got a lot of stuff at PSX. It's going to be a lot of fun, man. Yep. We're, we have a lot of exposure. If you, if you see us, come say hello. Absolutely. Yes. Um, you fucking better. Yeah, if you don't, I'll be angry. Are we planning anything? No. I'm too busy. <laughs> We've got other shit. We have. Uh, is there a hotel bar that we can just go and hang out? In? You can go and hang out with your free time, <laughs> all the free time that you're gonna have because I have none. Tons of free time. Um, We've got stuff booked for Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I have dinner with Nick, so like, I am booked yeah, every booked. second that I'm there. Mm. So uh, make sure you guys go to nerdsonline.com. Watch the Let's Plays. I said this before. I know you're fucking not watching Let's Plays. Some people are. Right? There's like 50 people. I know you're not watching Let's Plays. It means a lot. It's getting dark. Make sure you, you write comments. Go to iTunes. Write, review us. Tell your friends to review us. Make a second account to review us. And people are like, oh, Sean, I don't have an iPhone. How am I going to review you? You go to iTunes. It's fucking free. You know that I, I actually have zero access to iTunes? There's no way that I... Because I have a Chromebook, which I can't download programs onto. Hilarious. And there's no there's no way to access it through the internet. And I have a Samsung phone. Go to your public library <laughs> and download iTunes That's, and sign that in. That can't be... I'm not going to say it's illegal. I'll that have, can't I'll have be an iMac. justified. I love an iMac. What's it? I love an iMac. Yeah, some library somewhere. Oh, yeah. Go to Best Buy and go to the demo Mac. And, okay. then, and then send me a picture. Tweet me a picture of you <laughs> at Best Buy <laughs> on the iTunes reviewing my show. Our show. Um, Whoa. <laughs> I just want to get that out there. Yeah. It means Definitely. a lot, but in all seriousness, it means a lot when you review. Don't be like Jack and make really, really poor life choices where he buys a hundred dollar laptop that and then he periodically leaves at his friend's house. Well, it's not. I have got important. one of those laptops though. Chromebooks, so yeah. they're fucking. No, they're, it's they're good fine. For, it serves yeah. not as my main laptop. No, Mac, you're, not <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you'd never be able to do anything. Yeah, exactly. But um, <laughs> there's definitely. A purpose to them. I use it to watch Colin and Greg live and watch YouTube content, and it works well for that. Yeah, that's not entirely true. I do have a I have a tower that I could hook up if I was very mm. motivated. I also watch Netflix in the bath with my Chromebook. I watch Netflix in the bath all the time. My friend was uh, 
With your very expensive laptop. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so you're like, yeah. Because you put it on, you put it, yours is I'm, further away. Yeah, though. mine's yeah. Mine is like, I've got very thin Sounds bathroom, like so like it, 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 like, it gets wet every time. Like, you just can't, I like to go to Lush. It. I like to buy a bath mm-hmm. bomb, throw There's a bath bomb in there. Lay down. I like to get the Universe Galaxy bath bombs. Shout out to uh, Nikki knows what I'm talking about. And then I, I watch some uh, some Netflix. I chill. I do Netflix and chill solo. Mm-hmm. I feel like there's nothing wrong with baths occasionally. I have one. I at home I'd have one a week. I haven't had any since I've got it. I've had showers. I was, yeah, I'm I'm damn it. Showers. <laughs> had showers. I was gonna say something else, but I completely forgot. That's okay. We 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 kind of we signed off ten minutes ago now. <laughs> These things happen. If people are still listening, they're just here. For but, this. um, yeah, make sure you guys review all the content. I have something in my nose and it's like driving me nuts. I'm going to have to close out the show. Tom, close out the okay. show. Bye, everyone. What have you said? We've said everything already. We Good game. Good game. Review us. Good <laughs> oh game. Oh, my God. What Hit the it. fuck happened? GG. GG. <laughs> Good game. Dude, good, the way good. you say it is like... God save the queen. <laughs> and if you like that video, make sure you guys don't subscribe, don't share, and don't like the video. In fact, just click off and leave. Are you Chinese reverse psychology on the internet?